Steve, a really impressive turnaround against a, a very good Southampton team tonight. Yeah, excellent. Very, very pleased with the players tonight. I was feeling the worst at 2-0. I think this could go 3 or 4. But um, we dug in. We come through the, the rough time and uh, you know, show real character to come back and, and score three goals at this level against a very good Southampton team who are very quick, very competitive. Um, and, and that's, a, as we were just speaking about off camera there, Dale, you know, that's a real difference that we notice now that the, the pace and the energy and the power that you play against week in, week out. But, you know, it's great for the players because it's stretching them and they're learning from it. So, yeah, very, very pleased. Yeah, if I can start off by just talking about Tahith Chung, of course, returning. He'll take the headlines because he's come back 45 minutes after four months out. But great to see him out there on the pitch and applying himself for the first half. Yeah, lovely. Lovely to see him. And Andre as well, getting the game. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard for them as well. Mm. Yeah, they come in and trained with us yesterday for the first time. Didn't know a lot of the lads, but they've, they've dropped in and, um, you know, they settled in well with the players. Yeah. And, and, you know... Real encouragement when in at half time and they're talking to the players and it, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Chungi has a, a hand in the first goal, just finding Josh Williams out towards that left hand side and a fantastic finish. Fantastic ball, fantastic ball. And, and Josh, you know, stepped inside and that was a quality finish from that distance with that whip and pace on it. It was an excellent execution. Yeah, how important was that goal before the break? Just, just get yourselves back in it and make it 2 1. You always thought that third goal was going to be crucial. Massive, yeah, yeah, because. Not long before that, they had had another good chance and 3-0, you know, you're, you're, you're swimming against the tide there. Mm. But, you know, we go down and then, as you say, just before half-time, going in and it's a different team talk and the boys, a little bit of impetus and they've they got some belief in that. And we spoke around one or two things that we thought we could do better in and out of possession and then they come out and uh, they applied it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Kieran Wakefield gets us back on level terms and that's what he's about, on the shoulder. And when he mm. races clear, shows great composure, doesn't he? Great composure there. Yeah, he's really come of age this season. You know, you're seeing him grow from a, a young boy into a young man now. And, you know, he's a threat. Defenders don't like people running in behind and that's his forte. You know, he likes to stretch the game and get in behind. And as you quite rightly say, when he got in, it's the composure. You know, we, we spoke with him about at Wolves and there and went through it with him on the video and we've done some work with him. And then, you know, that's, that's, that's growth as a player. They listen and learn and, and uh, he's applied the lessons today and executed it very well. Yeah. Do we have to credit the manager for the, uh, the super substitution that ends up winning <laughs> the game? Because with 10, 15 minutes to go, Kyle Hurst no, is thrown on and, and bags the winner. No, I think uh, we should thank the physio for that because he told us Changi had to come off uh, because Changi's first game back, Alfie Chang, um, for you know, probably, uh, I think it's only second game since Christmas. And uh, he was getting on to us because he should have come off before. So we sneaked it a little bit longer and then delighted for Hursty because, you know, he's, he's been finding it tough and he's been out, out of church and that, so delighted for him to, to come and score and he took his goal very well. But again, if you look back at, at, at the goal, it was good movement from other players to, to afford him that room to shoot as well. So we've been doing a lot of work the last couple of weeks on, you know, lovely build-up play, but let's have something beyond that. So we've been working with, with runners in behind and there and getting people down the sides and crosses in the box and there and we done it against Watford the other day and, and thankfully we can continued it today. Yeah and results like not just the Watford one during the week but here tonight as well. Are you proving to yourselves, the players, that we belong at this level? Yeah, it was always going to be a big learning curve there and I, I don't want to go over old ground but we were very young early on in the season and we knew we would benefit in the second half. And we have, and we got one or two players coming back from injury as well. And uh, the players are playing with a lot of belief and confidence. And uh, whoever's coming in, I mean, you look at Kane Thompson Summers tonight. You know, he's came in and playing in uh, an unfamiliar position, and he's done superb. You know, his energy, enthusiasm is a credit to himself.